This is a, a radio controlled RC Expo. This is our 64th that we've had here in Toledo. Uh, radio controlled airplanes, uh, cars, trucks, tanks, uh, anything and everything radio controlled. This uh, weekend we'll bring in uh, about 8,000 guests into uh, Toledo. A lot of them, most of the guests here are actually from out of town. They come from all over the country. So about 8,000 uh, guests and probably five or 600 uh, distributors to, to show their wares. What you see is, is some just some fabulous models of airplanes and like you talk cars and boats and, and so on. And the um, important thing about these models is they're not just models, they're not just static. These models either uh, to be in the competition and so on, they either they have to fly or they have to float or they have to roll. So they, uh, they have to be actual working models to be in the competitions. We, in the, in the model classes, we have, um, I, I think we've got 12 to 15 different classes of uh, models. Airplanes, uh, it ranges from a sailplane class, uh, a jet class, jet turbine and so on. Uh, and overall, in these classes, these people stand to win uh, $10,000 in prizes. No, well, actually, drones are a big focus. Uh, if you go to the, the rear of the building, and there uh, we do have dr indoor drone racing, and uh, that's um, usually four drones at a time uh, flying a, a pre-staged um, course back there. Sometimes it gets real interesting. Uh, sometimes they crash, and that's always a, a, a crowd pleaser. Uh, it's a first-person view which means that the drone pilots are, are not looking from the drones from the outside, but they're seeing what the drones are seeing when they're flying. And we have set up uh, monitors so that the uh, patrons can see that, what we call that first person view, so they can see what the pilots are seeing when they're flying those drones. Um, really, it's the uh, the visual aspect of both being able to watch the race going around the course, albeit you're really seeing some small lights, and if you look really carefully, you can see the, these tiny little drones. And then it's to be able to watch the, the screens and see the live feed of what we're seeing while we're running through this course. Uh, these are classified as 2S, uh, two and a half inch prop micro quads, ranging anywhere from about 100 millimeters diagonally to about 85 millimeters diagonally. The challenge is you're dealing with a much smaller uh, aircraft in the same overall air. So it behaves a little differently and a little more squirrely and a little less stable. So to be able to fly them fast and consistent through a course takes a, takes a little bit more skill than the bigger quads. Um, really, I think 50% of it's the community and 50% is the competition. Uh, all of us like to try to be better and get better. And then the other factor is the, like all the people are very welcoming and fun to be around. And they also push us, push each other to be better pilots and also just be better at promoting the hobby and everything about it. Our, our, whether it's an RC car or plane or drone, it's, uh, it's, it's something that uh, families can do together. Uh, the, uh, uh, the fathers like me, we, we uh, teach our kids how to do it. We spend the winter in our, in our basements building, whether it's airplanes or cars and so on. Uh, and then we, we go out and fly them or crash them or whatever we do with those darn things. And so um, it's uh, you know, something that, that families can do together uh, and that's, that's a really cool thing.